Richard Bonner going in the house back. It, it, it's a quick video, quick episode where you talk about the news and of course the game against West Ham. Quickly, let us go into the some some of the stats of the game and of course, why do I believe and why do I say that Martin Odegaard to Arsenal is a permanent deal on the making? I've got I've got I've got a news about it, so I'm going to share that with you as well. So without any further ado. Before jumping into it, let me remind you, of course, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have been recently joined this, uh, if you re re recently joined this channel, we do uh, daily uh, talks about uh, what Arsenal do. And of course, we have a very interesting and a very funny um, international break coming up. So I'm planning some really good, decent amount of live uh, content for you guys. So stay tuned for that as well. So without any further ado, let's just get on with it. So man of the match was Arsenal's Callum Chambers. Most clearances six, most crosses eight, created three chances, most in any Premier League game for Arsenal. Callum Chambers with a masterclass. What a performance. And talking about Martin Odegaard's game by numbers versus West Ham. 93% pass accuracy, 95 touches, 16 penalty area entries most, 9 crosses most, 6 duels won, 5 touches in opposition's box, 4 take-ons which is most, 4 chances created which is most, 3 shots, Two fouls one and one shot on target. Martin Odegaard, he actually completed seven passes into the box in open play today. The most by an Arsenal player in a single game this damn season. Even Yannick Belize actually praised uh, Chambers. He said, Chambers has been quite quality. ACLs ain't easy to come back from. Hope he gets a run of games now. That is superb, supreme and sublime. So, the, the big news that I have about Martin Odegaard, it's pretty much simple. According to Telefoot TF1, Zinedine Zidane is determined to fulfill his contract with Real Madrid until its end in 2022. He doesn't believe that he needs to leave. If Zinedine Zidane stays at Madrid, it's a common consensus that Martin Odegaard does not have a place at Real Madrid. He, does, he just does not. And you've got to, you've got to agree to it. So uh, let us talk about some proper, proper stats. Unreal amount of stats that I have for you guys. So Alex Lacazette, ladies and gentlemen, has now scored in each of the last three Premier League starts for Arsenal. Three goals. One against Leicester, one against Tottenham and one against West Ham. Arsenal's top goal scorer in the league this season with 11 damn goals. 11 damn goals. And Thomas Partey made more ball recoveries than any other player against West Ham. 14 ball recoveries. He also contested the ju most joint, most duels, 12, and made the joint most tackles, 2 for Arsenal. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, just did not fall off on the, uh, on the floor for getting the ball back. But it was a very great performance. Also, if you remember 18th October 2020, Spurs versus West Ham. Spurs were 3-0 up. They bottled it towards the end. It's 3-3 for West Ham and Spurs. 21st March 2021. West Ham got three goal lead and Arsenal came back from behind. What a game has both the London derbies been. Unreal, unreal. And talking about Arsenal and West Ham full time. 15 shots for West Ham with uh, uh, 15 inside the box. Five uh, shots on target. 74% passing accuracy. 37% possession overall. Arsenal, 63% ball possession, 79% passing accuracy, 7 shots on target, 9 shots inside the box, and 16 shots overall. This game was a cracker of a game. It was superb, supreme. Alex Lacazette, most Premier League goals scored away from home this, so far this season. Mo Salah scored 10. Patrick Bamford has 9. Jamie Vardy has 9. Alex Lacazette has 8 along with Bruno Fernandes and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He, they are unbelievable. They are supreme. And William Hill said they are road warriors. Of course they are. Supreme, supreme and sublime. I just mixed up both. What a hideous person am I. Um, Alex Lacazette has now scored more Premier League goals this season than he managed in the whole of last season. Yeah, he had 10 last season and he has got 11. Unreal, isn't he? Superb. What a game. What a game. Superb. So, uh, moving on also about uh, Arsenal came back. But West Ham have hit the woodwork more times than any other Premier League game, uh, any other Premier League team this season. They've actually hit the woodwork 19 God times. 19 times, man. Wow. 
I mean, that goal, if that was in, it was it was game over, trust me. And West Ham have now scored more own goals than any other Premier League team since the start of last season. Six own goals. Three of them have come in the last two games. Oh my God. Oh, wow. And West Ham are the first team to score two own goals in a Premier League game since Swansea in January 2017. Both games were against Arsenal. The culprit... Craig Dawson, the last three goals West Ham have conceded in the Premier League have all been own goals. Two of them have been scored by Craig Dawson. Food for thought. Big one. Michael Antonio has now provided more Premier League assists for West Ham than Dimitri Payet. Super. Supreme, isn't it? Also, Jesse Lingard, what a game he had. And first of all, I would want your thoughts on this goalkeeping. Should this have been saved by Bern Leno? Should this have been saved by Bern Leno? I think yes. I think yes. He is at fault here. You got you got to call you got to call for for better goalkeeping than that. It's it's not good. Not good. And Jesse Lingard's first half by numbers, one take on complete attempted, one take on completed, one chances created, one assist, one shot, one goal. Super clinical from Jesse Lingard. He was su supreme and talking about the half time, the pass accuracy was 78% and 88%. The possession after that whole 30 minutes of half-time, Arsenal got 62% pass accuracy. Unreal. Unreal they were. Superb and superb. So, with the stats out of the way, let's talk about the reactions, what happened. Alex Lacazette has spoken about on not respecting the game plan from the coach. He said, I don't know, maybe we had the pressure because we knew it was a big game. This is where we have to improve as well. We have to work on a lot at, of, at this to be ready until the end of season. On talking about the goals conceded, Lacazette said, We are really disappointed and it's really complicated when we do this kind of game. Like I said, we need to work a lot to improve for the end of the season. And talking about the good opportunities missed, he said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think even with the first bad half we did, we could come back and score more, but this is football. We can't be perfect. We still have to work a lot every day in training to win this kind of games. And about the whole game, he said, My feeling is mixed because proud of my team because we came back in the second half and disappointed with the first half. 30 to 35 minutes where we didn't respect the game plan from the coach and we give three goals to them. This is not what we wanted. And talking about Chambers, Lacazette says he deserves a lot of credit because he came back from a big injury. He worked a lot in training, individual as well, and when we had some time from the coach, he showed he deserves to play for Arsenal. I'm really happy for him and I hope the best for him. That was, that is something really great. Alex Lacazette was looking disappointed after the end of the game, after the full time. He thought, we thought, and of course, everyone thought um, that we were supposed to win this. We were definitely supposed to win this. But uh, talking about more stuff, well, it was not just everyone, but uh, Mikel Arteta about the game, he said, this game is going to give me a few nightmares because it is really difficult to stop some of the things we have done, we have been doing to hurt ourselves. The first goal is something they do really well. The second and third goal and the chance at the end where they hit the post is unacceptable. We did not look at the races. Now, it's, it's, it's so right. We did not even see if anyone's making a run. We just did not. We let them walk past, walls past our midfield. I don't get it. And Sam JD tweets out, Arter, Arsenal are so silly. How on earth can one team be so pathetic in the first 30 minutes and so dominant in the next 30? They're not just inconsistent between matches, but in the matches themselves. And this, this definitely sums up. This sums up. What, have, what we have been doing. It's all about the mentality. I mean, we considered West Ham as a big team and that's... That's really shit. That's really shit. And I don't like it. So, here's a quote from Kieran Tierney on Mikel Arteta in, in one of the uh, interviews that he said. He said, The manager is a genius. A football genius. You can see we all are, we are all loving working under him and me especially, I love it. Every day I'm learning, he has shown me a new light onto football. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's crazy. Unreal, unreal. I like it. I like it. But talking about rotation of the back, Mikel Arteta said this before the game that it's a bit of everything. Uh, he gave the reason why Pablo Mari started. He said, it's a bit of everything. We had five or six players that really struggled after the match. We played almost two days ago. We played so many games in recent weeks and we need to freshen it up. We have players that deserve to play as well. And talking about Aubameyang, he said, I said that the issue we have was resolved in a really positive way. He's shown great attitude and he's back in the team again today. So this is the reasons that people were, people were seeking why Pablo Mari started in the first place. So, uh, 
let's just not talk about it anymore. So with this, I end this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you seek daily Arsenal content, best place to be. Of course, consider subscribing. And also tomorrow, we're discussing this game in detail with some of the gooners around the world. So stay tuned for that. If you want to be a part of it, send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter. I will see you in the next one.